Parsha Lech Lecho begins the story of Avram Avinu and going on to the Oves Yitzchok Yaakov and the development of Klal Yisrael into a nation. Avram is called Avram HaIvri. Ivri meaning from the other side. He was a person from the other side. And the simple meaning of it is that he came from Avraham Nahar. He was born, he grew up on the other side of the Euphrates River, Nahar Pros, before he came to Eretz Yisrael. And there's another pshat too, Rashi brings it. Avram was on the other side of the rest of humanity. He was different. In his time, he was different because it was a world that was steeped in idolatry and Avodah Zorah. And Avram rejected that. But in every generation, you find that. In our time, for example, a person who wants to be a real descendant of Avram Avinu has to look away to reject the standards of, of modesty, the standards of speech, all sorts of things in today's society that are, that are really antithetical to what Klal Yisrael is. There was a great American philosopher, Thoreau, who said, any man who is more right than his fellows is a, is a majority of one. Avram Avinu and Sora Imenu were on the other side. They were on the other side of civilization as it existed in their time. But they were a majority. They were the majority. They were the ones who prevailed. And that's something that we, as descendants, children, grandchildren of Avram Avinu, have to remember and keep in mind. You don't reject your principles. We are Jews. We have a Torah. The first time that Moshe Reichman, Paul Reichman of Toronto, was written about in the mass media was an article in the Wall Street Journal. This goes back probably 30 years or so. And one of the things that they said about him was that since he is a fervently Orthodox Jew, his religion requires him to maintain a higher standard of ethics that is generally accepted on Wall Street. Not everybody lives up to that standard. But that's our guidepost. That's where we belong, and that's what we have to strive for.